Hi beekeepers, Jenna here with Man Lake. I'm based out of the Minnesota location and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about July and what we're gonna be doing with our bees during the month of July. So what do we need to be worried about? And the answer is a lot. There's a lot happening with our bees in July. So July, especially this year, is a really, really good month for nectar flow. So unlike last year, we were in a drought. This year, we've had quite a bit of rain throughout the spring and early summer. So there's going to be a lot blooming. The wildflowers are gonna be coming into bloom having a nectar flow. We're gonna be uh, coming into the sweet clover season as well as basswood. So there's a lot blooming for our bees. So our bees are going to be very busy building up and hopefully making you honey. So what is it that you need to be doing? Number one, put your honey supers on. You wanna make sure that your bees have plenty of space because swarming is a concern. So make sure that you're putting probably at least two honey supers on your hives if you've got a strong colony and make sure that you're checking for swarm cells. So along with that, when your bees are really building up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are also checking for mites. Checking for mites every time you're going in and doing your hive inspection or at the very least once a month. Uh, with that, when you have your honey supers on, you are limited in the treatments that you can use. So you're able to use the formic acid treatments, so formic pro or a product called HopGuard. Now being that it's July, you wanna be very careful if you're using the formic acid treatments. If it's gonna be above 85 degrees, we would recommend using the HopGuard instead. So swarm management, mite management are two big things that you wanna be thinking about in July. Beyond that, because we are having a really good year this year, start thinking about your honey harvest. Is it time to buy an extractor and add that into your beekeeping repertoire? Or are you just going to do a crush, crush and strain method? Things to kind of think about now so you're ready and have that equipment on hand before you need it. If you like this video, like and subscribe and we'll be bringing you more. Thanks.